Abacus Auctions Sale 232 Lot 832 video file. And we start off with an album of South Africa up to the 1990s. Mostly used, maybe all used. Lots of quite attractive stamps. A few useful bits and pieces. And then there's another volume, not quite as filled, to 1991. Some people never got the hint that um, hinging stamps was a good way to pour money down the drain. I don't think this pre-apartheid stuff can even be used for postage. A slightly better set. So obviously this is the corresponding mint album. Useful bits and pieces and there's this packet of stuff off office mail, high value Philatelic frankings in the main, I expect. A couple of. Oh gosh, what are they? <laughs> ah, such fun! Oh, isn't that exciting? It says China on it, must be worthwhile. I think a lot of these things were giveaways in Gibbon Stamp Monthly. Postmaster Maseru Basuto Land. Philatelic, but still scarce. Scarce-ish, let's say. George six to a shilling. It's very higgledy piggledy. Good knows goodness knows what might be lurking in here. Even some Barbuda. And uh, what else? Let's get these out of the way. And, and there's this folio of exchange sheets that look like they've never, well, some of them have never been offered. But there'll be all sorts of pickings in here. Lots of stuff. Like, uh, what did I see there? Ah, used block of four thruppenny ruse, not to be sneezed at. At least not very hard. And goodness knows what else may be lurking. Oh, nice range of silver jubilees. Look nice and fresh. And the South Africa Jubilee used horizontal pairs. Priced at $55 and that doesn't seem unreasonable. <laughs> 